Hi everyone, myself Navyata Ravi, working as assistant professor in the Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic Lock Basic Protocols and my overview of presentation includes Concurrency Control Protocols and the Purpose of Concurrency Control Protocols and Shared and Exclusive Locking Protocol. So, what is Concurrency Control Protocols? We all know what is Concurrency. So, here if at all we are performing at transactions in a concurrent manner, that is not in a serializable manner. Let us deal this one with a simple example. Let us consider uh, a transactions, two transactions. See here, here I am performing a read operation on a data item A. Then again, I am performing read operation on data item A in transaction T2. And again, I am performing the write operation on the data item A in transaction T1. So, this is what the concurrency. That means, we are not performing the transactions in a serializable manner. What is serializable manner? Let us discuss that one here. So, here I am performing read operation on data item A and write operation on data item A and I used to commit. Then only I am I want to perform read operation on this data item A on the same data item which was updated in T1 and again I am going to update and then commit. See here this is what the serializability is meant for that means we are performing the transactions in a serializable manner. After performing the whole operations in T1 then only T2 will start this is what serializable. So, serializability which is used to maintain database in integrity, right. So, here in concurrent transactions, sometimes we may lost our integrity, right. So, while performing here the transactions in a concurrent manner, sometimes the lost update will occur, okay. So, that is how to control these kind of concurrency executions by using some protocols. So, those protocols are called as concurrency control protocols to maintain database integrity. So, what is the purpose to achieve serializable, to achieve serializable and recoverable, okay. In this concurrency control protocols, one of the protocol is nothing but shared exclusive locking protocol. That is one of the uh, concurrency control lock basic protocols. Let us discuss the types of concurrency protocols first. What is concurrency control technique implements some protocols which can be broadly classified into four types. What are those four? Log based protocol, timestamp based protocol, validation based protocol and multiple granularity. Today I am going to discuss about only the first topic that is log based protocol and in this log based protocol we have two types. Right, one is shared exclusive lock and the second one is two phase locking protocol. So, in this session especially we are dis discussing about the shared exclusive locking protocol. So, what is this shared exclusive locking protocol? In this type of protocol, any transaction cannot read or write a data item until it acquires a lock, appropriate lock on it. There are two types of locks that is shared lock and second one is exclusive lock. That means, here if I want to perform one transaction that is T1, right? I want to perform a read operation on this A read operation on a particular data item A. So, how I could perform if and only if I want to acquire a lock on it. Why because? Why because if I am performing the read operation, meanwhile T2 can ask the same data item for performing read operation. Right. So, to avoid this kind of situation, I want to lock this data item, especially here. Before performing, I am, I want to acquire the locks. That is the reason, right? So, here I could acquire a lock that is called as shared. So, shared lock. That means here I can acquire, I have locked that particular data item A. Okay. 
this is one of the locks and to read and write a data item we used to acquire exclusive lock that means so if at all i am performing i want to perform read operation at the same time write operation then i want to acquire a lock that is what we called as exclusive exclusive lock okay so acquiring locks is depends upon the compatibility function which will be discussed in our further session so before going to that here we are discussing about shared and exclusive locking protocol and here in this type of protocol any transaction if at all wants to perform any operation before going to perform that operation we must acquire a lock that is either shared lock or exclusive lock what is shared lock let us see this one it is also known as read only lock it is also known as what read only lock as i said before in in the example to read a particular data item i want i want to acquire a lock that is shared lock okay in a shared lock the data item can only read by the transaction in a shared lock if at all a data item is locked with a shared lock then the data is meant for to read that's it it can be shared between the transactions because when the transaction holds a lock then it can't update the data on a data item that means so this can be explained by taking one example t1 and t2 see here here i want to perform read operation right before going to perform this read operation i am going to perform only read operation read operation means which lock we used to acquire shared lock so i used to acquire shared lock meanwhile t2 came and asked for the same data item a whether it will share yes it will share why because see by sharing this data item for reading purpose so we may we may not lost the data right so whatever the data has been read here the same data will be read here also right and this for this transaction also we can acquire the shared lock so what is the point here it can be shared between the transactions that means the same data item can be locked and if the lock is shared lock it can be shared between the two transactions that is what the meaning here okay now let us discuss exclusive lock so what is exclusive lock in this exclusive lock the data item can be both read as well as written by the transaction that means let us consider this one i am going to write or i am going to read on data item a and i am going to write on data item a so if at all i am going to read and write before going to perform these two i want to acquire a lock which lock that is exclusive lock which is represented by the symbol x exclusive lock okay x of a so here this is meant for that means this transaction locked this data item to read and write if at all the one one transaction has acquired exclusive lock then it will not allow the other transaction to acquire the same data item to use the same data item okay so meanwhile t2 came here okay meanwhile t2 came and t2 is asking for data item a t2 is asking it will not permit why because here the transaction has acquired exclusive lock for reading and writing updation also that is why here it will not allow to acquire the data item okay so this lock is exclusive and in this lock multiple transactions do not modify the same data simultaneously that is what we have dealt so what is shared lock in a simple sentence if a transaction lock a data item in a shared mode then allows to read the data okay if the transaction lock a data item in exclusive mode then which allows to read and write okay so this can be dealt with t1 and t2 if at all i want to read a data item in transaction t1 here i want to read a data item in transaction t2 okay so let's suppose here let us take d 
another data item. Okay. So, if at all I want to acquire a lock here, I am performing only read operation. So, which lock we used to acquire? Only shared lock. Why? Because here only we are reading the data item A. Here I am going to read and write. I am going to perform two operations, read and write. Which lock we are going to acquire? Exclusive lock, X of B. Okay. So, that is what here. Let us discuss these two with a simple example and how these locks will be acquired by the database administrator by, by considering a compatibility table or compatibility function. Right. So, here there will be multiple transactions that request to acquire locks for respective data items in which concurrency control component checks the compatibility table to grant the locks. So, here we used to check whether we have to grant a lock to that particular data item or not. So, how? That is done by one function that is concurrency control component. So, this is the compatibility table in which have it will tell us whether to grant or not. Okay. So, let us take here grant and request. Right. So, one transaction this is T1 and T2. Okay. So, T1 has acquired shared lock. T1 has acquired shared lock. And, and it has been granted. This is what granted. T1 has been granted for acquiring shared lock. In the meanwhile, T2 requested for the shared lock for the same data item. T2 requested shared lock for the same data item. Here, shared lock means only for reading the data. And here also shared lock means only for reading the data. There is no conflict. Read, read. Okay. That is why it will acquire the lock at the same time. So, T1 will acquires a lock on A, T2 will also acquires a lock on A. Why? Because it is asking for only read. Okay. Now, check this one. If T1, if T1, see here, acquires a lock for read mode. T1 acquires a lock for read mode. Then T2 came. T1 acquires a lock for read mode, right? That is shared. T2 came. Mean, in Meanwhile, T2 came and it is asking and it is asking exclusive lock. Exclusive lock means what? Updating. Both read and update, right? It is asking for exclusive lock. Is it possible? No, here read write conflict is there. See, before committing, before committing the data, before committing the data, it must not allow the other transaction to read the data and to update also. Why? Because here read write conflict will occur. That is the reason here if one transaction acquires a lock, shared lock, if another transaction requests for exclusive lock, it will not allow. Okay. Let us discuss this one with an example. See here, if at all A, data item A is 100. Okay. Now, exclusive lock means it will read the data item. At the same time, it will write the data item also. T2 came and acquires exclusive lock for read and write. Read means here what? Here reading the data, data item A which contains 100. And later, it wants to update. Write means what? Here we are updating. It wants to update. That means plus 100. For example, so it wants to update 100 plus 100 that is 200. Later, if at all, if at all, after updating this one, commit has been happened. Okay. Let us think that now what is the recent value which was updated by T2? 200. What is the value that was read in T1? 100. Okay. So, later on here, commit has been happened. Then here the value will be 100, here the value will be 200, which is not accurate, which is not good, right? So, in this manner, we used to check the compatibility function or compatibility table to acquire the locks. So, here let us discuss, we have discussed these two. Now, if a transaction T1 has an exclusive lock, then T2 asks for shared lock. 
then also it will not obey. Okay. In the same manner, if a transaction T1 has exclusive lock and transaction T2 also ask you for exclusive lock, right right conflict, that will also, it will not allow us to grant. So, this is what the uh, compatibility table which is used to grant the locks. Okay. So, let us discuss example here. What is this one? S of A means shade lock which I have uh, acquired for reading purpose, right? Reading the data item. What is here U of A? U of A means unlock. So, unlock of A. That means after performing a particular operation that is either read or write, we used to unlock the data. Then only the other transaction will acquire the data item, okay? Then let us consider the second example. So, here we are performing two read operation and write operation. So, which lock we have to acquire? Exclusive lock. Okay. So, after acquiring exclusive lock on lock on A, we, we used to perform read operation and write operation. That is nothing but we can update. Then we can unlock the data item. Then only the other transaction will read or write that particular data item. That is what the concept. So, what we have discussed in this session, here we have discussed about concurrency control protocols, concurrency control protocols. So, what is the purpose of concurrency control? That means to maintain the database integrity, integrity, right. So, here we used to, we used to make the schedule of transactions in a serializable. So, what are the methods we have already discussed in our previous sessions? So, that is uh, conflict serializability, view serializability. These are some of the methods to transfer or to convert that concurrency control protocols into serializable. Okay. So, if at all a transactions are in concurrent manner, how we can able to control by using some of the protocols. So, what are those four? We have four types of protocols here. Log based protocol, timestamp based protocol validation based protocol and multiple granularity. In this particular session, we have discussed about log based protocol that to one of the log based protocol. What is that one? Shared and exclusive log based protocol. So, what is shared and what is exclusive? Shared means here, if at all you want to read a particular data item, then we must acquire shared log. If at all we want to read and write or update a data item, then we have to acquire exclusive lock. That is what we have discussed in this session. Thank you.